Join ABFM in Apple Podcast to listen to African folk tales with Miss Jojo one week early before everyone else. ABF Creator. ABF Hello, my little ones. My name is Miss Jojo. And you're listening to African Folk Tales. Yay! Hop inside my magical jeep with me as we explore African lands where animals talk and people fly. Are you ready? Get in! Make sure your seatbelt is on. The only thing we want to let loose is your imagination. Let's set the destination for our next story. Here we go! Hang on! Today, our magic jeep takes us to a land with a very clever and smart jackal. Make sure to listen closely for the bell. The bell will ring when I say the magic word of the story. Listen all the way to the end to discover if you guessed the magic word right. One day, long ago, Jackal was trotting through a narrow, rocky pass. As he often did, he kept his nose to the ground as he moved along to catch the odd scent. Never know when I'll find my next meal, he thought to himself although it was highly unlikely that he would find a rat out in the midday heat, but perhaps he could catch a lizard or two. Suddenly, he was aware of a movement ahead of him on the path. Oh no! Jackal moaned and stopped dead still in his tracks. Lion was coming toward him. Realizing that he was too close to escape, Jackal was filled with fear. He had played so many tricks on the great lion in the past. He was sure that lion would take this opportunity to get his revenge. In a flash, Jackal thought of a plan. Help! Help! cried Jackal. He cowered down on the cliff path, looking above at the rocks. Lion stopped short in surprise. Help! Help! Jackal howled, using the fear he felt in the middle of his chest to make his cry louder. Jackal glanced up at the lion. Oh, great lion, help! There is no time to lose. See those great rocks above us? They are about to fall. We shall both be crushed to death. Oh, mighty lion, do something! Save us! And Jackal cowered even lower, his paws covering his head. Lion looked up, mostly alarmed. Before he even had a chance to think, Jackal was begging him to use his strength to hold up the overhanging rock. So Lion put his brawny shoulder to the rock and pushed it away. Oh, thank you, great king, yelped Jackal. I will quickly fetch that log over there to prop under the rock and we will both be saved. Then Jackal ran away as fast as he could. Lion was left all alone to struggle under the weight of the unmoving rock. How long he remained there before he realized that it was another trick? We will never know. But this much we do know. Jackal continued to live by his wits. Moral of the story is, you need to watch those closely who are always playing tricks. You never know who may pull a jackal on you. (laughs) Did you hear the bell? Did you discover the magic word of the story? If you said fear, you're right. Fear is a word to describe the emotion you are feeling when you are scared of something. But around here, we use fear as a motivation. 
Thanks for taking this trip with me today. I can't wait for you to travel to the next story with me. African Folk Tales is produced by ABF Creative. To learn more about the show, go to abfc.co slash folktales. If you loved this show, then tell someone you know. Our magical Jeep journeys are more fun when you can bring your friends along. Thanks for listening. Bye!